everyone. Hello, everyone. It's Anastasia is here, and today I'm in a beautiful area, Verandite, and we are in a Verandite festival. And I would like tonight to interview a fantastic filmmaker, producer, Zev Holly. Hi, Zev. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Anastasia? It's great to be here in the uh, atmosphere of Warren Dyke Film Feast. I love it. Love it here each time. Yeah. Do you know what? I think it's becoming a tradition. Every year we're catching up here because you're producing something exciting. But this year we're going to discuss your feature film. I know that you haven't written that particular one, but you directed the movie. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Tell us more, a little bit more about the Killing the Love emoji. Yeah. It's a very interesting name. I'm not going to yeah. give away to our viewers too much about the movie, yeah. but the only question I have to you, what the challenges you faced when you actually directed the movie? Yeah, well, directing someone else's work is actually very different to directing your own work and I feel filmmakers should go out there and do it as a challenge because it is a challenge because you're not as familiar with the written work as it was as if you wrote, wrote it yourself so I had to work with Amel very closely I had to work with the cast and the crew and work out logistically how to do things uh, and Amel was on set when I was directing and we had to really collaborate together and I, I had to do the best I can to, to project the vision that she wanted and that's what you do as a director and working with a writer that has done their own film so I, I was doing my best to try and achieve the vision she wanted and it is a challenge and I had many challenges just three weeks before COVID too and it was like 10 of us in a small bookshop and we're like, I hope this is okay, because it was just like right before the COVID breakout. But what was the best part about directing the movie? We talked about the challenges, but what you actually enjoyed the most about it? Yeah, look, um, I love working with actors, I think, and uh, watching their performances come to life. It's very rewarding for a director. And I think they did wonderfully well. I'm really, really pleased with the performances that we got. It was, uh, they, were, they were terrific. And I like that in only six minutes, you can see so many different things. It's like a bit of a comedy. It's also very kind of sort of a deep meaning about it all. A bit of relationships, uh, different generations, you know, social issues. It's amazing how in six minutes you, you can actually accommodate all of these aspects of our life. Yeah. So congratulations. It's absolutely fantastic movie. Uh, hopefully we'll see how we go tonight with the voting and everything. And I've got a question. So what's next for you? Because you're doing every year something special. Anything is in your mind right now? Well, um, I'm going to give a rest for my short films for a while. I'm writing a feature and I've got a couple of documentaries I'm working on. So the short films will be given a rest for a while. Oh, why? Why so? Because I'm concentrating on something a bit more, okay. you know, substantial and bigger. So I'm writing away uh, my feature at the moment and hopefully I'll get that done eventually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't focus on everything at the yeah, same time, but right. congratulations again and thank you so much. Have a lovely night. Thank you, Anastasia. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.